Hey, good afternoon. So, I lied. I know we talked about, or I talked about taking a two-day break. Um, but I wanted to give you all the consistency, right? So, today's actually Christmas. And right now, hopefully, you guys are uh, watching the, the Arm Day video. Um which was recorded yesterday, but it's today, which is Christmas. But anyway, Merry Christmas again. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give you all consistency. Um, I didn't want to take a day or two break in between videos. I just really want to, you know, shell them out. I think consistency is key when you're making content, especially to gain traction. And again, it's not, I you know, I got, my ambitions isn't to explode on social media you know, so saturated with uh, lifting influencers and content creators and stuff. It's just, you know, it's fun. And it, it, I mean, obviously it'd be nice to grow, but again, I'm just doing this for accountability. And it's just like a nice little hobby I've just picked up on, you know. I do a lot of form checks. Um, I just try to be helpful because I wish that someone was helping me when I was new. And uh, I know in the recent videos I was kind of talking to a target audience of you know someone that's like my age but this these kind of videos go for for anyone um, younger or older I think it's great to uh, focus on being fit whether that's you know bodybuilding like myself or powerlifting or you know CrossFit whatever it's just I think it's good you know uh, improving your bone density and uh, your vascularity your you know your um, respiratory systems all that stuff is just you know beneficial and it's it's going to help you stay around more long term you know live a live a healthier life but um today i did some abs i'm just gonna go this traffic is busy i did some abs and uh some cardio today um i don't go crazy on abs because there's a lot of lifts that i do that work on core but not only that um I am doing this to bodybuild and eventually compete. And if you compete, you want to have, I know a lot of it's genetics, but you want to have a thin or a tight waist. You know, and if I do a lot of like, if I spam a lot of uh, obliques and, and crunches, you know, weighted stuff and get thick abs, that would look sick. But um, you kind of want to go with the V taper, the, you know, the, the Dorito shape. Um, oh man, I was going to surprise you guys. I, you know, it was a long shot because it's Christmas, but, uh, I was going to order some food at McDonald's and, uh, I couldn't find out online if this is open or not, but this one is closed, which is okay. I was going to grab a double quarter pounder and kind of talk about the macros and stuff and, uh, just kind of, kind of talk with y'all while, while snacking, but, uh, it's, it's closed. Anyway, well, I'll just go home and and make some food no big deal I more or less again I just wanted to record another video just keep it more consistent but yeah I, I don't do a lot of ab work um, I do it once a week it's just personal it's it's up to you you know um, but I don't want to get really thick abs because you know I want to compete and I know a lot of that has to do with genetics and stuff but uh yeah that's just that's just the way I'm approaching this thing and uh, speaking on um, I kind of mentioned older, you know, videos talking, you know, what's my target audience like? I want it to be a wide variety, not just people my age and not, not just males. This is, I think this is all useful for, you know, females too. But, um, anyway, I just wanted to apologize on, you know, the, the cursing, especially in the leg video. Listen, man, I was hyped after that deadlift PR because it's just it's just proof that my my approach you know my intensity my diet and all that stuff is working because I'm getting stronger so I was just riding a high from the from the deadlift and you know I don't want to curse I think it doesn't make you know I just, I don't get offended but I don't want any of you guys to feel like embarrassed or whatever watching this around like your kids and stuff I want this to be I want it to be raw and uncut, but it can be raw and uncut without the cursing and the profanity. So I apologize if I offended anyone. I'm going to do better. I mean, there will be times occasionally, especially 
during my intense sets that you know I might drop a f bomb or whatever, um, but it's not gonna be as freaking. That was a lot. That was a lot. Um, but yeah, I guess circling back on the on the females, you know, uh, there's people I've talked to recently. I mean, I won't dive into this a whole lot, but you know, I, I feel like you know a lot of females are afraid to bodybuild or even powerlift because they don't want to get big. You know, they're they're trying to do it to to uh to lean out and you know that's just not true you know you know females are not going to get as big as males are you know waist up anyway without a little hormone therapy or or you know testosterone it's just not physically possible i mean you can get big don't get me wrong but you're not going to pack on you know meat like like we will and i hope that doesn't offend anyone i guess i'm just I guess I'm just making a point. Like I think this is, this would be helpful for not just males but females, not just thirties, younger guys, even people, older older people that are curious about building muscle and building strength. Anyway, I don't want to dive into this. I know it can be a sensitive subject for, for some. Um, but uh, yeah, and what else did I want to talk about? Oh, and, uh, I just want to make a comment on my mandation for the, for if you're 200 pounds, you need to stop cutting, you start bulking, you know, I, I just hope y'all know that that was just a personal preference, you know, I want to get big, right, and, uh, but if that's not your thing, then, then do whatever makes you happy, man, if you want to cut, if you want to be a lean 140, dude, and that's like, your prerogative like if that's what if that's your goal then then absolutely do it you know this is just again these these vlogs are just me and and what i want to achieve i want to pack on a lot of muscle i want to pack on a lot of straight and then cut and then get pretty lean you know but if if that's not your goals if you don't want to compete and then maybe you know the workout tips and stuff and the dieting um will still be helpful right but the bulking and cutting cycles or you know getting fat and then getting strong and getting skinny and, and just doing it over and over if that's not for you then then so be it if powerlifting is your thing then um you know focus more on the progressive overloads oh the, i'm glad i'm glad i brought that up i want to talk to you guys about that i know i mentioned that a lot in my videos i you know talk about progressive overloads and compounds so like but i've never like dove into what a progressive overload is so in theory, well, it's not theory. I mean, it's proven. If you want to build strength, your exercises, they have to progressively overload over time, right? So what I mean by that, I guess let me talk about, there's three main co competitive lifts. There's squat, deadlift, and bench. And I do those. I, I take an approach for the progressive overload so what i mean by that is you gotta you got you got a max right let's just for simplicity say my max is 100 that's as hard as i can go i can only get 100 pounds on bench one time you know eventually i'm going to try to get that 105 pounds so what you could do is instead of just doing a one rep max all the time you got to get some repetitions in it and you know my approach is a three by eight but it's proven that you can do lower sets. Lower sets are better for building strength. So you could do like a like a five by five program or a five three one where you do five reps, three reps, one rep. And what you could do with your max, um, there's calculators out there, and I probably should have had some um, some examples ready. I'm just gonna go off the top of my head, so forgive me if I'm wrong. But so let's just say my max, and this is simplicity say my max on bench is 100 pounds. Um then I'm going to do 80% of my one rep max, which would be 80 pounds for a rep like four to six. I think, I wanna say it's six reps. So if I can get, no, four reps. If I can get 80 pounds four times, that means that I can get 100 once. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Just just Google one rep max calculators. And this is kind of how I break down my, my programming, if you will. Um, so my max as of late, I know it's not a one rep max, but my max as of late was 205 for six. 
Right. So, I mean, I guess I'm throwing this out there. I'm kind of circling, circling on you guys. But my max, according to that, was like 235 for one. Right. But last week, I did three sets of 205, and I got them nine reps. So you can punch that in the calculator. And according to that, I could have got 225 for like, it was like 226 for five. And in my head, I'm like, okay, I can overload this lift. My muscles are ready. Let's try it. And I tried it and I got 225 for five. So now I'm going to adjust the weight up. I'm going to, I'm going to progress my weight up. So now if my target rep range is eight, I'm going to go for 210 right i might not be able to get 210 but once i hit 210 you know my strength is getting better I, i'm trying to make this as simple as i can so ways to progressively overload your strength exercises is adding weight over time whether it's five pounds or whatever adding reps so if you're doing a five by five do a five by six with the same reps or adding an additional set. So if you're doing a five by five, you do a six by five. And if those, and if you feel like those are, if those are getting stronger, or you still have lifts left in the tank, or reps left in the tank, increase the weight. You know, and then you just keep doing that. If you're if you're hard stuck on a weight, for example, in a rep range, and you, your diet's consistent, and you're doing all the stuff you need to do then do an extra set, you know? And, and some other some other ideas for you to build strength. I mean, just look it up, right? You can find better, I'm just kind of breaking it down. Like you have to do, you have to add weight on, you have to do extra reps each set or do an entire new set. Those are ways to progressive overload. Um, but yeah, look it up and I'll give you another tip. One way to, um, I'm just kind of looping around here. Uh, one way to that I have gotten over plateaus in the past when those things didn't really help increase it and my diet has been good, I've even thrown on more weight and lowered the reps. For example, dips. So I was hard stuck on dips for a while, like eight. Eight body weight dips. And then I started putting on, I started putting on a belt and putting 25 pounds on and doing it four times. And then eventually I got up to like six. And then I took the weight off and I tried again and now I can do 12. So sometimes you have to add weight to kind of like, I don't know if shock your muscles is the right word I'm, you know, I'm looking for here. But uh, it's, a, it's a whole same thing with the one rep max. You could lower your weight, get your muscles used to the heavy weight again, do that for a week or two, and then go back and try to see how many reps you could do to the, to the weight or whatever you were doing prior to see if it goes up. But, and I keep talking about this a lot, and I made this mandation yesterday about bulking, but it's really, really hard to not get strong. It's really, really hard to get strong if you're not eating. You have to eat, man. Yes, there's newbie gains. Yes, there's advanced builders that can do it. I mean, you, you, even the guys on gear are eating a lot of food to build strength. You just, you have to. I mean, look at guys like Eddie Hall and like Brian Shaw. Like, those are some of the strongest people in the world. And they, I mean, they eat so much food, dude. You, you, you have to, man. Genetics absolutely play a factor in this stuff. But you, I would go to the grave and say that you, if you want to get strong, you have to eat. I'm not saying you have to be 200 pounds to be strong. You can be 180 and be an, an absolute monster, sure. But um, the the 200 pound thing was more or less talking about me. I don't want to be. I don't want to be a strong 190. I don't want to be a. I don't want to be a strong vascular 190. I want to be a strong vascular 220. If you if you catch my drift, but um. Yeah, just look up progressive overload. Hopefully that made sense. I'm not gonna try to circle this whole thing again. You know, I'm a, I, I, I could, I could have a conversation with a quarter, is what my mom always tells me. I'm just, you know, yapping all the time. I'm just trying to be helpful. You know what I mean? Um, because I wish I'd known a lot of this stuff when I first started. But um, 
another thing I wanted to mention too, real quick, and then we'll go to the house. Man, I'm so bummed McDonald's was closed. I was like, gosh, so like a double quarter cheeseburger, that would have been 50, 60 grams of protein, about 30 grams of carbs, and about 40 grams of fat. That's a that's a beefy meal, man. And, you know, I don't get lost in the sauce. I just, as long as my macros are hit and I'm eating, you know, a, a pretty healthy amount of food, right? It's okay. And, you know, like last night, I was eating cookies. I was eating uh, those uh, those s'more Oreos that are out during the holidays. I was eating some of those. But, um, yeah, another thing I want to talk about, too, and I don't think I've mentioned before is... Uh, RPE, you'll hear runners talk about RPE. RPE is rate of perceived exhaustion. So I talk about failure a lot, you know, on my hypertrophy work. I'm going to failure, you know, I'm, I'm pushing it. But I'm not pushing it to the insane max. So RPE is a scale from 1 to 10. 1 being really, really light, little exertion, and 10 being like, you can't do anything more. You can't hardly talk. You're like lightheaded. Like you're going, you're trying your best to lift a car out of a ditch. If you know what I mean. Um, but what I like to train at is like at a seven or an eight. So I am going to failure, but I'm not going to pure exhaustion failure, if that makes sense. So at, a, at, a, at a, <coughs> excuse me, at an eight level, I'm winded. But I'm able to speak sentences. I might be <sighs> huffing and puffing, you know. But I still have I still have sets left in the tank for the same amount of reps or close to the same amount of reps. And I'm able to speak sentences. Where if I did like a nine, um, my next set, the reps would be pretty much cut in half. Or, you know, cut in three quarters, you know. Intensity is great. But, you know, stuff like time under tension and, you know, volume. Volume has been proven to be beneficial, right? There's 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 theories going around like junk volume. And, again, this isn't trying to be a seminar. This is th – these are all things that I truly believe in. These are all things that I approach my – every day when I wake up, go about my day, and when I go to bed. These are all things that I truly believe in. But volume – has been proven to have benefits over low volume or medium volume. I mean, some of the volume numbers are crazy, but if you were, for example, if you were hitting 52 sets, and I don't know the rep range, but if you're hitting 52 sets a, a week per muscle, it is proven to not be junk volume. So, I, dude, again, I am not a believer in junk volume. I'm a believer in listening to your body and eating food. Like if if you're doing if you're doing 40 sets and the next day you can barely move or you like hurt your elbow, then don't do that much, man. Like bring it down a little bit. This isn't a sprint. You know, this is a this is a a, a jog if you will. This is a marathon. You know, it's you're not going to get results fast no matter what you do, but if you're having fun and you truly believe in your in your approach, and you're intense and you focus on your diet, you get a scale of it and you make sure you're getting your macros, you're going to make progress. It might be slower than others, sure, but you're going to make your progress. You know, we're all, we're all different and that's, don't get lost in the sauce, man. Just find something that you are passionate about and that you can wake up and you don't need anyone else there holding your hand. Something you can get up, this isn't, I'm turning into a motivational speaker, I guess. But just go have fun with it, dude. Go have fun with it. Make sure you're pushing yourself. Like, I, again, the RPE, eight, man. That's 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 my intensity. When I do my progressive overloading or my compounds, it's like a six. And, the, and on the last set, just to see if I'm ready to overload, I'll push it to an eight or a nine. You know? And then, you know, if, if I'm doing 225, let's just say I do 210 for eight. I pull up the calculator. Oh, snap, I can get, I almost cussed, but I stopped. I can get 225 for 7. You better believe that ego in me is going to try 225 for 7. And then I know that I got better. They're not just mentally, but physically, like, I can quantify 
my growth. You know, it, it's there. It's it's there. The weight is there, and I just did it. It's there. It's awesome. I just got better today, and that's what it's about, man. Have your goals, whether it's bodybuilding, powerlifting, CrossFit, uh, extreme cut, aesthetic. You know, whatever you like to do, man. Just have fun, man. And we're gonna we're gonna have fun together. And I'm gonna try to break down everything I can, and and I'm gonna be your biggest hot man. Always, that's just me. Optimistic all the time, you know. We had a we had a pretty, in my opinion, it was a pretty, pretty bad day doing arms because you know I didn't want to upset the someone recording, you know, whether it was intentional or not. Like on my part, like that that like that like knocked the wind out of me because I've been having so much fun with this, you know. Anyway. I'm circling again. It just it just stunk. But you know, we found a new gym. So be ready tomorrow. Chest chest day in a new gym. So which is good, man. On on you know, now that it happened, I'm you know I'm glad it did because there's gonna be guys or girls in there that that have been doing this longer than I have and I can just learn from them. Like some of you are learning from me, you know. That's, that's what it's about, man. It's uh mastering your craft if you will but this is something like exercising and you know in my case bodybuilding is just there's just you can never learn too much you know and it's just just have fun with it anyway thanks for hanging out merry christmas again i'll see you guys uh tomorrow we're gonna have an awesome chest day awesome chest day and uh yeah, stay tuned. Check out the TikTok if you guys have it. And uh, I, I still, I appreciate the feedback so much. Thanks for all the comments and the subscriptions. We're up to 51 already, which is nuts. It's madness. But anyway, much love. Uh, catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.